is starting to climb up over the treetops. And it's going to be a beautiful day, that's plain to see. Welcome to Bill Dance Outdoors, America's most popular and longest running TV fishing show. Now I've gone fishing with Bill Dance today. Have you ever thought about a really unique South American fishing experience without having to actually go down there? A chance to catch a hard fighting butterfly peacock bass? Well, today it's entirely possible because over the last 30 years, peacock bass have actually flourished in some of the South Florida area lakes and urban canals. The series of interconnected canals that run through and around the city of Miami, built in the early 1900s for flood control and water storage, and some adjacent lakes today offer unique butterfly peacock bass fishing opportunities. Peacock bass are not native to Florida or even to North America. They were introduced from the Amazon River in South America in the 1980s and were found to thrive in South Florida's warm climate. The butterfly peacock is not a hybrid, just a species that is relatively smaller than some of the others. They typically reach four or five pounds here. Today, Bill teams up with guide Roger Gonzalez, one of several bass fishing professionals here who operate through a well-known local website, BassOnline.com. Bill and Roger are teasing the colorful fish with Head and Super Spook Juniors, which are known to be extremely attractive to peacock bass. There you got it, baby. There you got it. Oh, you got a peacock. You got a nice one, Bill. Oh, nice one, Bill. We gotta, we gotta, we gotta use the net. And now you're gonna pull them up. Hey, look here. Yep, you can pull them up, baby. Well, that's my very first peacock. Let me help you out with the bogey grip. Got it. Got the, gotta get the plurs. Yeah, I got the bait. There he is. Okay. One of me, I'll remove the bogey grip for you. Well, there he is. That's the first one. Toodaloo. Good job, Bill. Mm. Oh, that's Whoa, a big yeah, one. Yeah, that was a blow up and a half, wasn't it? That's a big one. Oh, oh yeah. Good jump. What do you what what what, what, do, what do you do that for? You look back. like one of those. You, you, you look like one of those pros. You want me to get the net, or you want me to bogey grip? I want to feel like a pro. That's why I do that, Ben. Is he a netter? Uh, you can you can get the you can get the bogus the bogus. Whoa! Isn't that a pretty thing. Hello there, Buster. How you doing? Huh, don't you start that. That's turning like a male. You see that little hump going on the head right here? Uh huh. That's how you difference the males from the females. And let him go. Grow, baby. Ooh, there is a peacock. There's two of them in there, Bill. Right on that rock, right there. You got it, baby. That's a nice one, Bill. Oh, peacock. Bill Dance Outdoors is sponsored in part by Bomber Lures, the one and only Bass Pro Shops. Your adventure starts here.
and by Mercury Marine, celebrating 75 years of marine excellence. Seen the new G-Force Handle Replacement Release and Lift System for Troll Motors by TH Marine? It's rugged nylon jacketed stainless steel cable with a large, comfortable cushion grip handle makes lifting and releasing most troll motors easy. And it comes complete with a hook and loop strap to secure to the motor shaft while underway. The new G-Force Handle should be the last lift and release system you ever need to buy. Look how many small ones coming behind it. You see it? I see saw it. something there. Little bitty ones? Little bitty ones. Look, you see them? Oh, yeah. Those are little peacocks That's... right there. So they do spawn here? They, they spawn twice a year, yeah. Oh, they do spawn twice a year? Twice a year. After the winter time, they start spawning big time. Build a, that, are they like a bass? Do they just bed up? And same, lay same thing like the bass. And also, they're so aggressive that when they laid on beds, and when they're, they're right on the beds, they protect their, their, their fries inside the mouth. Female does. Oh, they do? Yeah. Like a tilapia? Like a tilapia. Remember, peacock is a cichlid family. So oh, okay. mo most of the cichlids, every time they spun, when they got fries, the, the only way to protect it is putting the fries inside the mouth. So they suck them in like they're eating it, but they're holding it, they're protecting it right inside the mouth. Oh, that's, that's a big large mouth. Woo! Nice! Oh, you little rascal. Nice, Bill. Jump. Jump. Oh, you got him all the way in. Well, I'll tell you what. The bay is all the way inside the mouth. He got a mouthful of it, didn't he? Need help, Bill? Need help? No, I got him. You got it? Yeah, I got him. Just go ahead and get one. Got it? I got him. Good job, Bill. Are these fish strictly a freshwater fish? Yeah, they definitely are strictly freshwater fish, yes, sir. Yep. They don't relate nothing with the salt water, no. They're freshwater 100%. Now, how did the peacock get into South Florida? Well, they were introduced by the state back in the, back in the 80s um, to control the tilapia um, invasion. And they brought it here as a sport fish. And that's how they, they're getting, they're, they're, the population has been growing through the years. And they get real adapted to, the, to our weather. But um, that's how they got here in Florida. I know these fish are, uh, you know, subtropical fish. Do they uh, do they relate primarily to shallow water year round, or do they do they go deep, or if they can go deep? It all depends uh, with the weather. Most of the time, they're trying to be close to the bank where the warmer water is. Maybe when we get a cold front or something, they might move down deep. But deep, but they're they're. Uh, Real, real shallow water fish. Yeah, there. So several years ago, you know, Florida experienced an unbelievable winter. Yep. You know, you had water temperatures that dropped way into the 40 degree range. Yep. And uh, I'm sure that they were impact. You know, yeah. they had a major impact on the peacock. We, we got hurt big time. Yeah, we got hurt big time. A lot of people were dead. But um, so far they're coming back pretty good. Uh, we'll be able to catch big fish back again, and then growing. They're growing again. When you squat down like that, does that help you get him better? It releases stress a little bit. <laughs> well, hurry up. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, that is a pretty one. Bring him up. I can't see him. Whoa, look at here. Yeah. Yow. Boy, look what you did. <laughs> there you go. That's a good one. That's what I'm talking about. You want me to turn, turn him loose or you want to turn him loose? No, you turn him loose. Come on. Woo! More than glad you turn him loose. Nice. Way to go, Rog. Today's Conditions Log is sponsored by Mystic Lubricants and their JT6 Marine Grease. Designed for maximum protection against salt and corrosion.
Today's show is sponsored in part by Quantum Rods and Reels, fishing at a quantum level. Mystic Lubricants, lubrication domination. And Tracker Boats, fish the finest. Ooh! Ooh! That's a nice one. That's a nice one, Bill. They got a good tug to them, don't they? Oh, yeah. Yeah! Oh, you got it, you got it, you got it, baby, you got it, you got it this time! Pull that thing, Buster. That's a nice one, Bill. Need help, Bill? No, I think I got him. You got it? Yeah. Look at them pretty colors in that fish. He got them, hadn't he? All right, now you said, now these don't grow as much as fast as the ones in South America, right? Yep. Now what'd you call this this type? This is the Ocellaris. Also known as a, a butterfly peacock. Too. Oh, the butterfly. The butterfly peacock. Yep. The butterfly peacock fishery extends through about 330 miles of canals and lakes in Dade and Broward counties. Unlike some of their relatives, butterfly peacock bass do not venture into salt water and are restricted to salinities similar to those tolerated by largemouth bass. Peacocks tend to feed in shallower water, often at the shoreline's edge or nearer the surface when in deeper water than is characteristic of largemouth bass. Fishing for them is typically good throughout the year, but most peacocks heavier than four pounds are caught between February and May. Shaded areas provided by bridges, culverts, and other structures usually are productive fishing spots, along with fallen trees, canal ends, bends, and intersections. Nearly all butterfly peacocks are caught during daylight hours, and light tackle works best. There he is. Boy, he hammered it. The only problem, he's a nice one. Whoa, look at that. Look at you, look at you. Brother Gonzalez. Nice one. You gonna help me out with this, Bill? Yes. You gonna net him? Oh, he's got him hooked. Whip him up in the side. Just whip him up in here, like a, like a bass. Oh, there Whoa, you go. isn't that nice? Look at collars in this fish, Bill. Huh? See the orange on it? Oh, yeah. Pretty collars. Pretty. Thank you, baby. Let it go. You see the bank right there? Now, look, I'm 41 feet. I'll pull right back out. Look how close that is. You don't think that water's not deep right against that bank? 44 feet right here. I was going to fish that spot. I'm sorry. I was going to fish that rock. You see the just I just want to make sure, it. I, I just want to make sure there's nothing on it. So you won't miss it. All right, I'll just take that next one. That uh, that big one you like the better. I guarantee you. Which one? That's a dreamer. Whoa! 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 You got it, baby! Whoa! That's a nice one right there, Bill. You're gonna need help with that one. That's a good one. Need a net? Yeah, you might need him. Yeah, let's net him. It is a pretty one. Oh my gosh, I seen that. That's a nice fish. Look at it. There we go. Nice. That's a pretty color right there. Isn't he? Look at the orange on the bottom. Oh yeah. Nice. See ya. Today's dance and lesson is sponsored by Bill Dance on Facebook. Like us on Facebook and join in the Bill Dance Facebook fun. Bill posts all the time, and you'll get more great fishing tips there too. Ever wish you had a fishing pro on the lake with you? Guess what? Now you can. Looking for tips on cranking or fishing one of the hot new multi-bait rigs? We got it and plenty of other fishing tips on our Bill Dance app. 
that'll help every angler regardless of age. Learn more about fish anatomy, where fish live, and how they can be caught on the Bill Dance app for your iPhone, iPad, or Android mobile device. The fishing tips are free, and so is the app. Today's show is sponsored in part by Orca Coolers, the all-American everywhere product, and Motor Guide, never stop. Closed captioning provided by Power Pole, the original shallow water anchor. How popular is this type of fishing in this country? Well, it's really, it's been real popular um, the last few years. We had a lot of people coming from all over, the, all over the country to fish for them. Is it the fact that it's just a unique fish and yep. no one's ever caught one before yep. and they just want to? Yep. Once they're, they're hooked up on this fish, they want to come back again. It's just a, the way this type of fish is different than any other type of fish out there in the fresh water. And the fact that you can catch so many of them on top water, that's yep. I mean, actually you, seeing the strike. You know? Once you got it, once you got somebody on a top water bite for a peacock, they're on forever. Is there a season and a limit on them? Well, actually, they're they're pretty pretty good all year round. The only thing that might slow them down is if you got a mayor cold front, but they're real all year round, especially here down, down, down in South Florida, we don't really get that bad, bad weather. Is there a size limit on them? Yeah, there's a size limit on it. Um, there's two fish per person, four, one, <clears throat> one 14 and one 17 inches. If anybody wanted to ask more questions about this or wanted information on it, all they got to do is contact you through BassOnline.com. Correct, yep, that's the best way to go. That's a big one. That's a big one, buddy. I see that completely coming. Take that bait down. There's a peacock. Woo, pull, Buster. Yeah, they're a lot like a small mouth. You gonna need help with that one? Yeah, you can probably net him. He's barely hooked. Oh, that's a really nice one. All right, now let me you get the fish, I'll get the mortar. Okay. Johnny, they're a lot like a small mouth. Real aggressive. She's a female. You can see the round head. Doesn't yep. have no hump on it. Uh huh. Yep. Hey, baby. I got one. Whoa, boy. What you got? I think it's a large mouth. Oh, yeah. This is a giant. Bring him to me. I got him. Whoa, yeah, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Now I need the pliers. That's what I'm talking about. There he is. That's a nice one. Pretty, pretty fish. Okay, I'm gonna turn him loose. Here we go. In closing, Bill reminds you that if you have the opportunity to fish for these colorful and unique butterfly peacocks, it's really a fun change of pace. So by all means, go for it. Full information about fishing for them in South Florida is available on BassOnline.com. Well, I'm gonna tell you something. This has been an experience. I've never fished for peacocks. You made the statement that you catch them a lot bigger here. Yep. We've had an unbelievable weather system today. We've had cloud cover, we've had strong winds, 25 gusts to 30 to 35 miles an hour. We've had rain. You said these bigger fish, you catch them six to seven pounds. Yep, correct. Uh, and what's our biggest, maybe three or four pounds? But yeah, maybe four pounds is our biggest. Well, that's great. I mean, we've had a good time. If you've never done it before, this is a guy you want to get with, Roger Gonzalez. He can make it happen. Buddy, I've had a great time. Thanks Thank for you so a great much, day. man. Appreciate it. Until next time, you catch a lot of fish, keep what you can use, and release the rest. But it's been fun. Now I've gone fishing with Bill Dance today. Thanks for watching Bill Dance Outdoors. Please join us again next week for more great fun fishing. Now I've gone fishing with